At the Mocha Geffen in Little Tokyo, within downtown Los Angeles, one can view Nicole Eisenman's Another Green World, an oil painting on canvas depicting Brooklyn hipsters partying and making love inside a crowded apartment named after the Brian Eno album of the same name that's featured in it. Nicole Eisenman is a gender-fluid American painter whose work focuses on sex, caricatures, life, and comedy within an abstracted palette. She's described in a Cultured Magazine article, Painter Nicole Eisenman Hides Nothing at the New Museum by Brent Lewis, as a storyteller who hides nothing, positioning much of her feeling-based art in various visual mediums, critiquing topics which range from technology to inequalities in an ever-changing environment. The first thing that pops up in Another Green World is the array of colors shown on skin tones, clothing, and apartment objects. These people are far from realistic as they're mostly round-like forms with exaggerated colorful skin. Writer Stephen Tro of the Brooklyn Rail in his profile of Nicole Eisenman theorizes that the more emotional a character is, the more abstract they become and their abstraction indicates an internal psychology versus an external reality which explains saturated blue or orange skin tones often linked to calm or joy. The male blue figure making out the topless girl on the lower left corner can be our entryway to the painting as we climb up diagonally, passing by people sitting at the couch playing around with the records before splitting off into two separate paths at the center where the gay couple is dancing. The path on the left leads up to a dinner table with sausages and cheese surrounded by guests before ending at a couple reclining on a couch in the top left corner. The path on the right leads up to an interaction at the doorway before ending at the top right corner which consists of a passed out person buried underneath jackets. Above the gay couple is an open balcony with three silhouettes gazing at the Manhattan skyline. In terms of recognizable iconography, there is an array present from iPhones and Newports to vinyl records of Brian Eno's Another Green World, Grace Jones' Nightclubbing, Elvis Costello's Armed Forces, The Who's Tommy, and The Beatles' Revolver. The Brooklyn Nets head would represent the location and support for its basketball culture. The same could be said for the sausages that can be from a nearby bodega or the Nikes reflecting streetwear culture. Overall, these objects add a drift or vintage sensibility to your apartment making it timeless within Eisenman's world. Another Green World relates to Chapter 12 in the fifth edition of Exploring Art entitled Race, Gender, Class, and Clans, due to its depiction of diverse Brooklyn hipsters partying in a bohemian apartment. This painting can be compared with Spanish painter Diego Vlasquez's Las Meninas, a 1656 painting depicting Infanta Margarita, the daughter of King Philip IV and Queen Mariana of Spain, and her servants attending to her while Velazquez himself paints a portrait of the royal couple. Both of these paintings depict class luxury existing in their respective classes. However, the latter is more realistic. Dennis Cardin, in the art critical article, Paint Queer, Gender Fluid, Meaning Ambiguous, Nicole Eisenman and Anton Kern, expands on Eisenman's emphasis of sex and gender roles in her previous works and how it's treated in the no-green world, explaining that society often tries to label genders even when the binaries are being broken, stating, We desire to do this in order to navigate our social world, but in this party, everyone is welcome. Once again, reiterating inclusivity. Overall, Another Green World is an ode to the current generation of young, diverse Brooklyn hipsters living in DIY luxury. As hyperallergic writer Cynthia Cruz in her article, Finding Love and Community in Nicole Eisenman's Paintings, reflects, where everyone is a nomad, a country and culture where no one has a fixed home, where everyone is always busy, Eisenman gives us time to hang out or find love, an experience that feels nostalgic now amidst the current pandemic with everyone having to self-quarantine.